ceremony last night. Yeah, correct. Did you guys come through fine? I was, uh, I didn't get a lot of results so, did you I think? didn't throw up. Okay, good. Good. So, are you ready for large dosages tonight, or moderate, or what, what are you feeling the, the need for? I see. No, we do that. Same. The same? Yes. So that was dialed in quite well last night, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Maybe I'll take like a little bit more for the next guy's seconds. Or... Right, you had seconds last night, but how did the aftermath work? Yeah, it was great. It worked out fine. Yeah, because yeah. I kept, I don't know, I think it also kept on me to take more. So I take more, take more, take more. That's why I came up. <laughs> well, well, it's good to saturate your body without a doubt. To saturate, now that you have the opportunity to saturate your body with ayahuasca, now it's a good time to do it. You know, because power plants are definitely made for giving us resilience, intelligence, and perception, and for helping us make decisions, and for helping us evolve quickly, particularly through times of a lot of stress and a lot of changes. And we're almost all in these times now, and that's why we're drawn to power plants. Because the power plants are put here on the planet precisely to guide us forward and to teach us how to adapt to our environment, how to maintain our integrity, our souls, and our power, and continue developing as people and as individuals, and maintain our, our strength and our evolution forward so that we can add to the legacy we leave behind when we finish our mission here on the planet. And so power plants are a very strong, very powerful emissary to the multidimensional life of growth and strength. Here we use ayahuasca because ayahuasca is basically the mother of all medicines, and what I've found to be the most gracious sacrament put here on the planet, because it has no negative side effects. It has a short-term duration. It brings us up, across, teaches us a lot, and brings us back down comfortably and safely into our own energy fields and minds. Now, as some of you experience, occasionally when you take a large dosage, that particular journey takes a little longer than previously anticipated. But it's never more than, say, an eight-hour process. And usually the intense part is contained within the ceremony, and that's why it works so well. Because here, tonight we're in a celebration. Basically, we have four shamans. We're all friends. We have Ben Hameen, we have Jairo, we have Jose, and we have myself. And we're all experienced in working with various power plants. I've worked a lot with ayahuasca, a lot with peyote, a lot with San Pedro, and somewhat with Datura, and with uh, LSD, and with other, part, the other kinds of mescaline. But by far the most useful sacrament that I've found is ayahuasca. And ayahuasca basically is a healer, it's an evolution, for every individual who takes it, it's a protection and it's a guide. It's a combination of a priest, a pastor, a psychologist, a <laughs> medical doctor, and a guru all at once. Mm -hmm. And it goes into your body and it works on levels that you never thought existed and teaches you things that you may not realize until many weeks later. And how did your last... Uh, session go, brother, because oh, you come back. Yeah, well, my last session was great, actually. Uh, I was, there was no negative, like, I didn't even vomit, actually. It was just all, you know, sunshine and rainbows. <laughs> Same old week. Lucky you. Yeah, I know. Well, I mean, I had gone through some hell, though. They were there for a couple of times. <laughs> for sure. Um, I don't think that, the last session, I didn't take a huge dose, and I think I, I didn't because I didn't want to go through hell, so uh, I took a comfortable amount and, you know, you know, and it was it was just right. I'm not sure exactly how much that was, but uh, it's been... Well, that's the beauty of the ayahuasca ceremonies is because they're short-lived, they're intense, they're always unpredictable, they have a factor in there that 
the best way to take it is to take the medicine and say, well, let's see what happens tonight. Like a devil make care attitude. Maybe I'll go to Disneyland. Maybe I'll go to Detroit. <laughs> Who knows what will happen to me tonight. But anyhow, I'm going to do it and I'm going to write it out. And so whatever happens, happens. And then at the end of the night, you roll up your blanket and say, that was a nice meditation. I'll go home and get some rest. We'll think about it tomorrow. So you want to try to keep yourself detached, to be able to learn and watch. Not take it too personally, because it's teaching you on a level that's very far below your conscious mind, and you're much better off taking it exactly like that. It's something that you don't understand, but that you'd like to experience. And then two weeks later, you'll say, oh, okay, now I feel different. Because the work of that master is just hit home. And then you know what to do next. And that's the beauty of this medicine. Is that it has that power, and it has that humor, and it has that nonchalance of anything that knows what it's doing. It doesn't promote itself. It just presents itself. Now that's the beauty of power plants. They've been an enormously positive part of my life. And I have very high standards, came from upper middle class, studied psychology, anthropology, history, the whole nine art, fine arts yards of it. But the thing that really resonated with me was the theology, and then the indigenous theology. And the indigenous theology made sense because it was based on experience. And it based on experience with power plants. And the power plants opened up enormous realms. And they've helped me open up the enormous healing to other people who need it very desperately and sometimes just out of pure curiosity. So since we all have an idea of what we're getting into tonight, I think it's a great time to get started. And so when you come up and uh, receive your dose, give me a little feedback, but I think I know pretty much what everybody's going to say. We're going to give you about a full cup, a little under. We're going to give you a little over half. We're going to give you about a three-quarter to seven-eighths. And we're going to give you about a seven-eighths. And we're going to give you about a two-thirds, right? How are you doing, Elaine? I was doing good last night. And uh, I just lost a little bit last night. And I was doing good and I was vegan. And so right now I feel a little bit too much upset. And I was tired. Like, I yawn a lot. It's like, you <laughs> know. Okay, well that's not at all uncommon because very frequently we have the ups and downs and the curves of the ayahuasca. It takes us up, it takes us down. We go through peaks, we go through valleys. But the way to handle it is to take it moderate. And so in your case, we're going to tone it down a little bit from last night. Tomorrow's a day of rest. You can take it easy and relax. But to keep the movement of the healing and the learning going, it's best to tone it down tonight, so we'll do that in your case, okay? Because mm -hmm. I want you to enjoy yourself and rest and assimilate completely without any worries and without any fatigue. So let's go that direction. So let's get started. Here we go. Querido Padre nuestro, gracias por estar aquí con nosotros esta noche. Guíenos, Padre, en esta ceremonia. Danos cada uno inteligencia, coraje y fuerza para escuchar su medicina. Alumbrar su mundo y hacer su trabajo en esta tierra. Gracias, Padre, por su guianza, su amor y su presencia siempre a nuestro lado.
Sandy. 